Welcome to the great battery shootout <laughs> of 2011 here. You could call it that. <laughs> this yeah. was a pretty extensive, it's just like a camera shootout. You have all these different well, batteries. The level of detail that uh, Karen did with this is almost more than our shootout. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> because the 2011 shootout is incredibly extensive. I mean, my God, we have five months of research into it before we've even done our first test. Right. So Scott, about a month ago, um, we gave you a mission. Mm -hmm. And the mission was to try to develop a battery that we can use for our uh, EVF mm -hmm. that is as good as the Canon battery. And that's not easy to do because we've tested all these batteries extensively, which I want you to talk about now. Uh, yeah, we, we had taken all six of these batteries and put them through extensive testing to try to find what was the closest battery we could find that would perform as good as a Canon battery and that would last as long. What we did actually is we took a 5D Mark II and an intervalometer and we put a card in it and we took a frame every second to wear down the batteries as fast as humanly possible. One of the things that we did that in our test, we uh, charged and discharged these batteries all 10 times because what we wanted to do is we wanted to see over time will this battery hold up. A lot of these knockoff batteries that you see around they'll they will become crap after you know three four charges of use. We wanted to make sure that that wasn't the case here and with our our testing we found that it kept up right with the Canon battery and was maintaining its level of charge. And did you notice that some of the batteries actually got weaker during that 10 time period? Yeah, there was, there was some that we were seeing at least, you know, probably a 30, 40% drop within, just within 10 charges so and recharges. The capacity started to diminish. Yes. Right, and that's the quality of the cells that people are using in these batteries, you know. Suffice uh, it to say, the one that we chose is almost as good as the Canon battery. Yeah, well we found out this battery um, came closest to the Canon battery as far as discharge rate, it lasted probably to the minute as the Canon battery did. And as far as recharge rate on its respective charger, it didn't do as well as the Canon, but you can also charge that battery on a Canon charger and it did pretty much to the minute of the Canon battery. That's awesome. Now, can you actually charge a Canon battery on its charger? Yes. That's good because you know, some of these chargers have these weirdnesses where they, they won't charge. Yeah, you can put a Canon battery on it, but you cannot use a regular, there's, I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. Okay. Again, the goal is that we're using these Canon EP6 batteries from uh, your DSLR that you probably have on our EVF. And you probably already have some of these already, but now this is the one that comes with the EVF and you can supplement it. You can do it on each other's charger. Uh, it should be you know, a good way to go. I like the fact that you guys were actually charging how quickly the battery would die, but yet how fast you could recharge it. Mm -hmm. You know, the recharge rate is a really important thing, especially when you're on a film set, you know, getting your batteries back up to snuff. You know, some of these batteries that we tested took three, four hours to charge, mm -hmm. and that's just not acceptable. I mean, the way we shoot, you know, is we always, we show up on location, we have a minimum of two batteries. If the battery will last, so these batteries last uh, in our EVF, we've been guaranteed the last hours. four hours. Okay. And I think it's, everybody should know that when you buy the EVF, you get one battery and mm -hmm. one charger. Right. So Jens, why don't we talk about some of the other charging options because I know originally we had a little plug in the side of our EVF so that you could literally put a 12 volt power directly into it. Mm -hmm. But then all these new fangled ideas came out and we yeah. changed our... To save on. size and space and potentially somebody putting the wrong kind of power in there, we eliminated the, the 12 volt in on there and decided to use what Canon actually supplies, uh, something similar, it's the dummy battery and then that cord will go to your 12 volt battery. Yeah, so you can, or... yeah, detap so that you can, you know, power it from an external 12 volt battery, let's say on the back of your rig. Yeah, that's a pretty elegant option because besides that, you've got yeah. two detaps right here. One could power the camera, one could power the EVF, and you got a detap that could power. Well, that would be the idea. An outside power, monitor. Yeah, a lot of people want to power their camera and any electronics like the EVF from right. the same counterweight. Yeah, system battery. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the other option. Um, that's terrific. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good idea. I know you and I kind of had a little, a little thing there where we, where I kind of wanted to have that 12 volt power directly on the monitor, but 
I do know that when you're using these little type of plugs, people will stick any one they can jam in there and... From an old cell phone, who knows what they're going to stick in there. Right. And, and not only that, it's, it's not, it, th that's consumer grade, you know. We're right. making our EVF to professional grade, so wherever we can eliminate a consumer connection like this, it's better. Right. Agreed. All right, this was awesome, man. Thanks for doing this yeah. test, and I think the, inf the, the battery, uh, from what I saw, produces pretty much equal to the Canon battery, and I'm pleased. So we've got an excellent battery. Thanks, guys. Okay.